Okay, so let's talk about a new feature that relates to output logging. So Templator now has a logging feature that's really handy. Um, you can see that you know we do have the console message here, but sometimes we might want to review a log of what Templator is actually doing. So let's take a look at how to begin the log and also how to inspect it. The first thing to note is that Templator will output a log file to the same directory that the project file exists in. So in our case here, we've got this audio swapping directory and here's our AEP file. So the log will actually reside in the same folder. So if I click on reset log, what that does is it creates a brand new log file and all the actions that I perform with Templator will be logged to that file. Now, what I'm gonna do is just scoot After Effects over a little bit and you can see here, I've got this terminal window. I'm right inside the audio swapping directory, which is where this AEP file exists. So if I, for example, list out these files, you can see there's my AEP file. And then I've got these two files here that I mysteriously did not create. So uh, one is the .log file and the other one is the .out file. So these are your log files that Templator creates for you. Now, if you're on a Mac, you can use something like tail, the tail command with the dash F, which means follow, and then use the dot out file. So if I do that, what that's gonna do is show you the tail end of the templator dot out file. So now if I click on reset log on templator, what you're gonna see here is the log file has now been reset. We can see that there's a header and we can see that a session has started at this date and time. So if I interact with Templator, for example, to do a preview, you can see that the log file is in fact getting appended. So that's really useful when you want to inspect what's going on with Templator. If you're going to open up the log file in a text editor, don't use the .out file, use the .log file. And I'll explain why. If I bring up a finder window, you can see here I'm already in the audio swapping folder and I hear my two log files. If I open up the .out, into a text editor, you can see that it looks similar to what's going on here, but it's littered with these special codes that demarcate where the colors should change and where they should begin. So you don't wanna use that one. Instead, go ahead and use the dot log file. So if I open that one text edit, you can see that now this is a very clean one that you can inspect and use to your heart's desire. 